While the latest improved version of the J20, the two-seat version, is close to mass production, relevant personnel in the Russian aviation industry have recently stated that Russia will develop a two-seat version of the Su-57 to improve the multi-purpose combat capability of the Su-57, and it can also be used as a the command plane cooperates with the UAV for combat. Yuri Slyusa, General Manager of Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, announced that the company is negotiating with the Russian Ministry of Defense to develop a two-seat version of the Su-57 fighter jet for the Russian Army to enhance the aircraft's multi-purpose combat capability. Slyusa also said that the new two-seater version of the Su-57 will have the ability to command drones to fight and can cooperate with drones. In fact, this is not the first time that Russia has announced the development of a two-seater version of the Su-57, as early as when the Su-57 was still in the verification stage and was called the T-50 by the outside world, the Russian United Aircraft Corporation had planned to develop a two-seater version for the aircraft. But unfortunately, the two-seater version of the T-50 was not built, and the title of the world's first two-seater fifth-generation aircraft finally fell on the head of the J-20. In this field, the Russian aviation industry finally got up early and rushed to the late set, walking behind China, the former teacher is now a student, this is actually one of the signs of the reversal of the status of the Sino-Russian aviation industry. The reason for such a result is mainly because the design requirements of the two-seater version of the T-50 were not proposed by the Russian army, but by India, relevant research and development funds are also provided by India, after India stopped funding and withdrew from the research and development of the T-50. The research and development of the two-seater model naturally fell through, strictly speaking, the two-seater version of the T-50 proposed by India and the two-seater version of the Su-57 proposed by the United Aircraft Corporation are two completely different aircraft, the former is only a special model for foreign trade. While the latter is a brand new design proposed by the Russian army based on its own operational needs, as for why the Russian Army Ray proposed the development of a two-seater version of the Su-57 after India withdrew its investment for several years, considering that the Su-57 has briefly participated in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. It has carried out several strike missions against ground targets, especially air defense facilities, it is not difficult to guess that the Russian Army should be aware that the single-seat Su-57, as insufficient multi-purpose combat capabilities and low ground attack efficiency, because when a single-seat model is performing ground-to-ground -ground missions, the pilot needs to complete the search, lock, and strike on ground targets while manipulating the aircraft. The problem of distraction of pilots not only affects the efficiency of ground strikes, but also threatens flight safety. In the two-seater model, the pilot in the front seat can focus on flying and the weapon operator in the back seat will undertake all the attack tasks, which can greatly relieve the pilot's operating pressure and improve the combat efficiency of the aircraft. In addition, the two-seater version of the J-20 exposed by China is likely to have affected the Russian army to a certain extent, and became an incentive for Russia to make up its mind to develop the two-seater Su-57, because China's two-seat version of the J-20 is designed according to the UAV command aircraft, the operator in the back seat can directly control the UAV to fight, so as to realize the formation combat of manned and UAV, and improve the combat efficiency of the fleet, and Russia is also actively exploring the new air combat concept of cooperative operations between drones and manned aircraft, it will be more or less affected when it sees the two-seat J-20 designed by China with the drone command aircraft as the target. Therefore, although Russia has achieved excellent results in the previous test with a Su-57 commanding four hunter drones, considering the combat efficiency of China's two-seat version of the J-20 commanding drones, it may be more effective. Hi, Russia will choose to follow the pace of China to develop the two-seater version of the Su-57 is also a reasonable result. This also proves that China's decision to develop a two-seater version of the J-20 is correct.
In general, no matter what reason Russia develops the two-seat version of the Su-57, the appearance of this aircraft will inevitably lead to a transformation of the combat concept of the Russian aerospace forces, and it may even trigger a new round of development within the Russian military, reform of military theory, as for whether this change is good or bad. I am afraid we can only wait for time to give the answer.